<laughs> There's not too many films that are improved in GIF form. In GIF form, right. right. Hold on. Now we got to talk about this for a second. So what is, all right, all right. If we ran the zoo, society, how, what would you guys do differently with society? Actually, I'm going to take that rain real quick. And I just want to say that I would just make it, I would make it, I would do a straight cannibal film. That's what I would do. I would actually pull back. I don't think you can go. I don't think you can go to any higher heights than what's done in the original. It's just so well done. So I would actually go in the opposite direction and I would make it a straight cannibal film. Same thing, you know, slow burn or whatever, but, uh, you know, they're raising spoilers, 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 spoilers. spoilers. They're raising a son for slaughter. And that's the angle that I would take. Same thing, paranoia, you know, I I would, as a matter of fact, that doesn't exist. Well, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) No, but, you know, it would be like a mixture of society and parents is what it would be. Essentially, I think. Well, it has to be. Yeah, it would probably have to be darker and more grounded. Right now, because that's you probably couldn't get away with like the screaming Matt George type of over the topness, because that was definitely specific to the '80s. But now it's like you really play make up you the go paranoia. CGI. Play up, play up the paranoia, play up the conspiracy theories, all that stuff that's happening. That's literally happening in front of us now, and you can't believe it. And then right. add like a you know. I don't know, man. If you handed it to me, if you handed it to me, first yeah, what would you go? The first thing I'd say is, do you remember Moomin Shants? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. What? What yeah. is that? I feel like I know it in the back of my like it's something I buried. Like, yeah, they're it's, like it's, they're these kind of like puppet minds. minds. Yeah, yeah, they had this. One of their bits was they would, um, like they'd have clay on their faces, mm-hmm. and. They would grab the clay and make. They showed up on Muppets one time. Anyway, yeah, they're they're, they're the guests on one of the Muppet Show episodes, okay. Okay. which is weird. And they, yeah, they're the guests, and they're like they'll like grab each other's faces and turn them into different expressions and stuff because mm-hmm. their faces are clay. That, anyway, uh, thank you, Tim. I, it's validation. But um, what I would do is, I think you're right uh, about cranking up the paranoia, cranking up the conspiracy. But if you handed it to me, I would blow the whole fucking ending out to just cartoonish levels of of. Go- I would ramp the sex way the fuck up. Like uh, you would definitely see uh, moment shots, clay dicks being stretched around and and yanked on at the end of this movie uh, of the Steven version of Society. Um, you're making me regret my decision <laughs> in that. Like you, you know what you're doing. You're like Willy Wonka right now. You're telling me. That I can dream about anything and that I don't have to be so grounded and that I <laughs> that you should outdo screaming that, George. And I would love to bring back I don't know the actor's name, the guy who played the villain from Pee Wee's Big Adventure and have him like be the 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 mayor, the cigar the stogie smoking mayor. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Yes. Okay, okay, can I take another stab at this? I just thought of something. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Ready? We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I feel like this has to be part of the show where we we where because we're all writers, we have to do this. This is part of the show. All right, check this out. Ready? Society. So the same same story, it, grounded or not, it can either be Steven's version or straight cannibal version. However, this is the hook that I would change in my remake. The son is not necessarily in on it, but he's like ignorant. He's like kind of ignorant to everything. He doesn't, the paranoia is transferred to his fiance who's marrying into the family. Nice. Doesn't know, doesn't know that her fiance was raised for slaughter. They (laughs) go to the cabin in the woods, not a cabin, the mansion in the woods, like it's some estate where they're having the coming out ball for the 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 fiance and it's actually the night that's the traditional night they wait for the uh for the 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 son to become engaged and what they do is they have a feast and so she doesn't know that she is going to become a part of the feast spoilers for a movie that doesn't exist (laughs) the son gets eaten as planned and now 
the fiance, it turns into ready or not. And the fiance mm. is running around the house. So the, the feast, the shunt is not, and the sh- again, the shunt could be Stephen's shunt or it could be my shunt, which is more traditional, like <laughs> cannibal feast. But then it turns into ready or not where, where, so, so, so the shunt is the middle part of the movie. And the third act is her putting on her converse, uh, taking the, 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 the hunting rifle off the mantle and blowing these motherfuckers, a new asshole. She's got to get out of there. And it's just like, it turns into home alone with a shotgun <laughs> in the house with a bunch of fucking shunting motherfuckers looking to turn her asshole inside out. <laughs> oh yeah.